Hi, uh, my name is Jack Edson, and I'm from Hamburg, New York. I started quilting back in 1976, which was the bicentennial year. I went to a couple of exhibits of American folk art and saw my first American quilts and really wanted to start collecting them, so I thought maybe I could make some. One of my old art teachers, Jackson Brockett, visited me a year and a half ago during the summer and saw my quilts and said, you gotta meet these guys, quilt guys. So he gave me the contact information for Paul Leger and I emailed them back and forth a few times. They invited me to join them and I started coming to the quilt retreats. Everybody has something different they're working on. In fact, no two quilters are alike. My quilts are based on images from art history. Usually I take a portrait of a favorite artist and make a quilt of their face. Uh, this year I'm working on one of my great art heroes, El Greco. My quilts are pretty much works of art. I make quilts to use on beds, or I should say I used to make them, but now I only make the art pieces. I'm interested in showing them in art shows and having gallery presents, that type of thing. Although I've made dozens and dozens of quilts as gifts, donations, you name it. Not right now though, they're all art pieces. I've won a few awards here and there. Um, they're almost hybrids. They're, you know, unusual as quilts for art shows, and they're unusual as art objects for quilt shows. So I get a lot of interest, but a lot of head scratches, I think, from people that are trying to put them in a pigeonhole. I drove from Buffalo, New York, which is almost 400 miles away, and I really didn't know what I was going to be working on as I drove here. And I just sort of fell in love with the Vermont landscape, the colors, the shadows, the snow that's still on the mountains. So this is really what um, grabbed me. I think it's kind of unusual for men to do quilting. Actually, historically, it is unusual. And I think in our day and age, let's face it, it's 2015, and we can do it if we want to. And I think in many cases, you need some buddies to kind of support you and encourage you. And this is where our group falls into place.